we've all been in seasons where it was like, I don't got the right thing to say because I ain't right in my head yet either. Shoot. Jingle bell. What's up, suckers, and welcome back to Everything Courtney. So for today's What's the Word Wednesday, I want to come from the topic of it's okay to not be okay. And I think sometimes in our culture being strong is just like the thing we all strive to be well, i gotta be strong i can't show weakness we're expected to be so strong all the time that oh, i can handle anything i've got the world on my shoulders and sometimes that stuff is crushing and i just want to remind you that even on your walk with christ that it's okay to have your moments where you're not okay and i know that may sound confusing being a believer because as a believer you feel like oh well my life should always be on the up and up i got jesus i'm gonna always be okay i'm never gonna be weak i'm never gonna be weary <laughs> no 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 <laughs> you will come up against some stuff that will challenge your very idea of what peace and joy and happiness really is so i just really wanted to extend this reminder to you guys that it is okay to have your moments where you are just simply not okay and that is when it is very important to have a solid support system this past week y'all being totally transparent has been rough and it's just been rough on a new level for me i can honestly say it's been like this more than just last week but it has really like reached a new level of like okay what the heck is going on just this past week and sometimes you can hit a place where you don't always feel like you're walking in the promises of god you don't feel like you're walking in your victory you don't feel like you're in a place where god is there or any of that type of stuff and you could be trying to fight against a season of depression and a season of anxiety and fear and doubt and confusion and anger and ultimately just wanted to give up and so i just really want to encourage you that it is so vitally important to have people around you who can bring you back to surface because if you're drowning and you're out there by yourself you're just going to keep drowning and then you're going to fall to the ocean floor. And once you get that deep in, sometimes people don't even know how to pull you back up because they can't even see you enough to even know that you need a life vest. To even know that you need someone to, hey, come down here and rescue me. Because at this point, you're so hidden in your issues that people may not even know how to even throw out a life reserve to you. Friendship and family is so important. I thank God for my family. I thank God for how close I am to my family and how I know I can come to them with anything. But it's also very important to have good friends in your life. And yes, your friends are your family too. Like my friends are family. I don't have anyone in my life that's close to me that I don't consider a sister or a brother and I thank God for them because they are the people who sometimes you can be the most vulnerable with because obviously the love for a friend is a little different than the love that you have for your siblings or your parents and it's some stuff I'm just not gonna bring to my mom and my daddy like it's just not gonna happen if I can help it you know and not to say that you have your friends as like a crutch you weigh yourself on, but sometimes you need those people to help lift you up. I'm so thankful that I can finally see that everyone around me being on one accord in terms of knowing it's okay to be weak and knowing that I'm here for you if you need me to lift you up. I've gone through some dark periods in my life and I had friends around me who just could not even see it because they were so encompassed with their own issues or they made everything about them and it was like i can't even begin to express what i'm going through to you or with you because you're going to make it about you or you know you're just trying to see me in a different light that i'm really not in right now because right now you trying to shine a light on something that i feel like i'm hiding in the dark with and you can't even shine a light to find exactly where i even really am so one scripture that i will refer to is ecclesiastes 4:10. And the NLT version says, if one person falls, the other can reach out and help. But someone who falls alone is in real trouble. So in this season of my life, God is challenging me in new ways and new lengths. <laughs> and it's requiring more of me to really trust and believe that he is who he says he is. And, you know, I can look at my old testimonies and know that, okay, he's always been there. He's never felt me yet. He's never, you know, discarded me, left me. He's a God of his word. He cannot lie. He keeps his promises. He's always came through for me. But when you have to believe that in a new way like he's doing things totally different right now in my life and so 
the challenge is, you know, staying strong in the midst of not knowing what in the heck is going on. And sometimes you do get weary. Sometimes you do kind of feel weak and like you don't really have the strength to go on. And I'm just so thankful that I have friends that I can call on and be super vulnerable with. I mean, so raw that it's almost scary to be dishonest with sometimes because it's like, I really don't want someone to know me in that way. But it's such a healing thing and such a freeing thing to be able to be that honest sometimes. And know that the response you're going to get back is based on bible and that has been one of the comforting things that's kept me going this past week is when i had a moment of just like feeling so defeated and just so weak and just so unsure about so much of my life i reached out to my friends in a group chat and we were talking about some stuff and i was just so honest i was just like hey y'all so blank 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 and this is blank 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 and this is what it is and then you know you don't know what someone's gonna respond because also you never know what someone else is going through with and i'm just so glad that even though that they may be having their issues that they were able to lay their issues aside and help me out and i believe it's a scripture in the bible that talks about um laying down your issues to help someone else when they may need help and it's not an easy thing to do it's so not an easy thing to do but i'm just so thankful that even though my friends may have life going on and that they were able to lay down their situation and encourage me because i will also do the same for them because it's not just a one-way street i will lay down my issues i'll pray and ask god give me the words to say to them god to encourage them when i may be needing encouragement myself and the beautiful thing about god is that sometimes in those situations where you may need to encourage someone where you don't have the right words for yourself he would give you a word to share with them that can also be take it in for your situation and then you feel like oh okay god like i needed that for myself it's been so many times <laughs> so many instances where someone has come to me with something and i have given them some encouragement because it's always going to be from god never any glory to me because it's all glory to god you know i've asked god to lead me and say lord okay what is it that you have for me to say to them and as i'm talking i know that it's not me because in my situation that i'm in i know i don't really feel like this yet or that i haven't even fathomed this thought process that i'm having right now but as i'm telling it to someone as i'm encouraging them with god's word it's encouraging me and we know god's word to be powerful and it's just so Oh Lord, it's just so amazing that even in encouraging someone else that you're able to get encouraged too. And I just want to say thank you to my friends who have been so supportive and thank you to God who have given me these people in my life that I'm able to have as a support system, as accountability partners, as people who want to see me succeed and who aren't going to let me give up who aren't going to just give up on me because I'm not giving up on them either. And like I said before, I'm like this for them too. But I'm in such a place of gratitude for them because they had to be that for me this past week. Like I've mentioned, David in the Bible before, like the book of Psalms, it's just him pouring out his heart and just being so honest with God all the time. And that's one of the things that I pray about all the time. Like, God, let me be honest. I want to be honest. I don't need to hide anything from you. And obviously it's some things, okay, you know, <laughs> that you need to go to God for. But it's also an amazing thing for him to have his earthly angels that we call friends. And it's also an amazing thing to see your friendships evolve to become more God-based. Because our responses wasn't always on some godly stuff. It was on some sins. I'm struggling too, girl. I'm about to quit. Or, you know, like you, we've all been in seasons where it was like, I don't got the right thing to say because I ain't right in my head yet either. Shoot, you asked me the wrong one. But it's such an amazing thing to see like the progression of the people around me and to have like-minded friends who, hey, call me out quick. Like, hey, no, God didn't create you to, to forsake you. You know, he still has a purpose for you. And them just even remind me that this is just a test from God and that where your relationship is going with him, that the tests are just going to get harder. But he's just testing you because he knows that he can trust you with more and that, you know, he's just preparing you for what it is that he has for you to receive. And I'm just so glad because sometimes it, it is stuff that you already know and sometimes it's stuff you know that you don't really want to hear because you just be wanting to sulk like can i just have a moment can i just be sad but no we're not doing that because that's just a whole another situation that you have to get yourself out of to come back to god and be like hey god so i'm here again like i was tripping you was right that was the truth and it's like instead of going through all that give me thank you god for these friends who be like nah sis no you didn't have your moment this is your moment it's over 
get your mind right because he is still faithful he is still god and he still is gonna keep his promise to you so once again i just really want to encourage you to look around your circle and to be sure that the people around you even the people who are you consider close in your family that they are there to challenge you and to make you be better and that they are able to hold you up because it is so important to have people around you who won't belittle you go behind your back and talk about you or who aren't there to know your business to let it throw in your face but there to always remind you of where you come from me and my friends we remind each other where we come from me and taylor remind each other where we come from out there in them la streets y'all don't even know like <laughs> we've come a long way and it's just so amazing because looking back on who i was then like wow god you brought me so far so i know that when i look back on this person in the future it's gonna be like dang god you brought me even farther like holy lord you are working even in seeing this video i'm encouraged because i was having a rough moment today not gonna lie it was getting a little rough but it's just the importance of your response and so learning to respond with a praise and not a complaint it's so easier said than done in certain situations where you just want to just give up or you just want to complain where it just feels so much easier to just be like here we go again instead of like speaking that because we have power in our tongue but speaking like you know what lord i'm gonna praise you anyhow because i know you're gonna see me through or lord you know it's gonna be all right because you said you'll never leave me nor forsake me you never put more on me than i can bear lord so i know that this may seem heavy now but i'm gonna go ahead and put it at your feet <laughs> and let the burden at you lord so you can give my soul rest and let you handle this lord because if not i'm gonna go crazy and also lord thank you for these friends who i can join hands with and then two or three of us together can touch and agree and we can pray and and bring heaven down to earth and let it rain down your glory be upon each and every one of us oh god and so i just pray that you have friends in your life who can do that for you too who can pray you through a situation like i had a friend just this week who god laid me on her heart and she was just reaching out to me to make sure i was okay and checking in on me and you know knowing that things can get tough sometimes and just everything she was saying was so on point and so on time and i was like hold it back to you it's trying to send my message back it's just such an amazing thing when god is able to have people in your life that he can lay you on their heart too you know so I just thank God for everybody that God has in my life in this season. And I can't wait to see each and every one of us soar and accomplish and become everything he's created us to be. Because we are not going to be defeated. We are not going to be held down. But what we will do is reach out and help each other when one of us feels like we're falling. If we do all, for some reason, feel like we all fall at the same time, God is always there to help us along the way. So I just say thank you, Lord. For that. And I just encourage you guys once again to check the people in your life and make sure you have people who you feel like that about okay so i love you guys y'all pray for me i'm gonna pray for you all right <laughs> i love y'all don't forget black lives matter bye see you in a second suckers